G'day, my name's H, and today we're going to have a little bit of a look at some of the instruments that inspire me and hopefully inspire you too. So here we have what's called a student style flute and what you'll notice about it is that it's fairly plain, there's no ornate markings on these types of flutes and this is the style that I really highly recommend people to take the first step into flute land with. Now this is a A, so that means that it's in the key of A and if you don't know anything about that technical music stuff, it doesn't really matter. What it means is that it's short, the holes are fairly close together, so it's a really great place to start practicing your technique, to get the fingering right, to get a system of anchors, how you hold the flute and to explore the breath dynamic and the technique behind making these flutes sing. Beautiful, high-pitched. What we're noticing about this flute is that the mouth is closed. And I'll show you the difference between that and an open mouth flute right now. So moving into a much larger size and different style, this is the open mouth style Native American flute. I find these flutes to be a little bit more gentle when it comes to playing, more like whispering a secret into a friend's ear, which it kind of looks like. This one here is one of my favorite traditional style Native American flutes. It is complete in its six hole form and it's just the single chamber. This is made by an Australian maker and it is a hewn pine, so a very soft wood. Now the woods for the Native American flutes are not only visually attractive, but they have an effect on what we call the timber, the timbre, and the real kind of sustenance of the way that the sound is delivered. So in a soft flute like this one being pine, you're going to notice that it's a very warm sound, a very full sound. And when we switch out to a hard wood, we start noticing a better delivery in the high end and a very bright, almost chirpy sound. So paying attention just to the softness of this flute. flutes that we've looked at so far are definitely Native American style. This is a Peruvian style flute and it looks very, very similar. The thing that I'd like you to notice about this particular flute is that it only has five holes. So when we compare that to my recommendation for a beginner's Native American style, the only real difference here is that this one has five and this one has six. Now sometimes people call this a student flute and that is because there is no option to release that note there. During the tutorials that I offer, I like to teach the fingering pattern that then seals off that note, making a six-hole flute, a five-hole flute, making it a student flute, so that when you are ready to start exploring alternate fingerings, you can simply lift that finger and you don't need to buy the second flute. That's one of the advantages of having a six-hole flute to start with. You can grow into it. So the Native American style flutes obviously comes in a broad range of sizes. So these two are in the same key, which means it's the same note, but they are a full octave apart. So these ones are in B and they are an Australian maker. I'll just give you a small example of the difference between the octaves. And both of these are in the traditional single chambered form. Let's take a look at what a drone flute entails now. So the Native American style flute comes in the drone format, which means that, again, available in a variety of sizes, the lower, um, the longer that they are, and the higher, the shorter they are. And so the drone means that you've got the two chambers here. 
and you've got two lots of sound coming out the sound mechanism and you have two holes to blow the air into. So while one side is playing the scale with the holes, the other side is either playing the low or the high octave of that. So you're getting two sounds at the same time with these magnificent instruments. So the beautiful woods mean there's a beautiful craftsman and a maker behind them. And the makers of the Native American style flutes often get very creative. This is a great example of a low octave and a high octave flute built into the same flute. So where it's not necessarily a drone because you can play scales on both sides, it does mean you can play a drone if you do some nifty finger work but really it's just a very versatile flute that offers the two octaves. And if you do that nifty finger work, you can cover and play a drone. Taking the Native American drone flute to the next level, here we have a triple chambered flute. This one is in F with a high C octave. So both of the scale chambers can resonate with the drone chamber. And the largest style of Native American flute is the side blown. So this is so long that you can't quite reach it. And so there is a mouthpiece at the very side of the flute. Some of the even larger side blown flutes have an extendable chamber. Beautiful, deep sounding flutes. All right, so as you can see, the flute family is pretty diverse and no two flutes are the same. There are quite a lot of beautiful options for exploring music and the Native American style of playing. So I hope that you have found some inspiration in this and fall in love with these beautiful instruments as much as I have. If you are just starting out, um, I do recommend a smaller flute like these ones and something like this is available on my website if you're interested. Otherwise, have fun exploring all of the diversity and we'll see you in later videos. Hey, H here from H Music and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you check out the next one and if you do have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, please give us a like. And if there's any further questions or information that you'd like about me or these beautiful style of Native American flutes, please check out the website. There's a link in the description below.